In about two weeks' time, many South Australians will be paying more to see their GP as a result of Labor's uh, tax grab through the GP payroll tax. General practice is the most cost-effective sector in healthcare. We do the most good for the least cost. Taxing GPs to fund expensive hospital care makes absolutely no sense. Pursuing this tax in the middle of a cost-of-living crisis unprecedented ramping levels really shows a very poor vision for our leadership at best and at worst a callous disregard for the well-being of all South Australians. It's actually putting a barrier towards prevention. We know prevention is better than cure. If we're not actually uh, helping people stay well they end up being sicker and the consequence of that is that their health is worse, they end up in hospitals and the cost is worse. But putting a further barrier where that money is just sucked straight out into the state coffers is Peter uh, Robin Paul. So um, we think this is a tax grab that hasn't been thought through, hasn't been looked at properly. Um, it, it's inappropriate. We don't think it measures up in any uh, sense. And we think uh, it's going to sabotage the state system. It's going to actually end up with more people coming to hospital. Our patients are going to be sicker. So there's no way that we think the state government's making a good decision here. It's clear that the Malinaskis government does not understand general practice. So I'd like to invite Peter Malinaskis to come and see me and I'd like to explain to him how general practice works. Um, so Peter, if you're out there, come and see me. I think it's a disappointing budget. We really want the budget to serve South Australians. I don't think this does. I think making it harder for people without the financial capability to see a GP is going to massively overload our emergency departments. There is infrastructure funding in this budget uh, I don't think the plan for that infrastructure was to build a bigger ramp. Kicking patients further to make them go to an emergency department does not help patients, does not help the community, does not help our government. It does not fix the budget. The best way to become poor is to become sick or disabled. Stop now. If we rolled over now and accepted this liability, it's game over. It's game over for general practice. It's game over for our patients. It's really game over for emergency departments of the hospital system. Our government needs to have the courage and vision to recognise that GPs are independent medical practitioners, not employees. They need to remove this payroll tax burden. They need to let us get on with what we do best, which is to take care of our patients and keep them out of hospitals. Some estimate 20-30% of practices will um, close because it's just the nail in the coffin. If Peter Malinowskis was serious about fixing ramping, he would not be here putting barriers in front of GPs uh, and adding cost to patients. We don't want to see a situation where we have South Australians being pushed away from general practice only to end up at the emergency department later on. Making it harder and more expensive to see a GP is a bad outcome for patients and it's a bad outcome for our health system.